What's up everybody and welcome to Think Spatial, the channel that's dedicated to bringing you how-to videos on all things related to spatial technology and GIS tools. Today I'm going to show you how to download and configure Web App Builder Developer Edition. So if you want to have a little bit more freedom with your web applications as using custom templates or widgets, or just want to have a little bit more flexibility than just the ArcGIS Online templates. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. You download this right from Esri's website. I'll have this linked in the description below. But all you want to do is hit download SDK. And the one thing it's going to look for is it's going to look for uh, an organizational ArcGIS Online account. Now I have ArcGIS for personal, which includes that. So whenever you get that um, account set up, you have to start your organizational ArcGIS Online website. And as long as you're part of an organization doing this for work or have an ArcGIS for personal account, it should work. Um, it's just looking to make sure that you're actually part of an organization. And it doesn't take much time to download this. However, whenever you extract the files, it does take quite a bit of time. So whenever we get to that point, I'm going to fast forward in the video and then we'll show up again. As you can see, it's already downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads. Web App Builder 2.7, which is the current version I'm using now in February 2018. I'm gonna go ahead, I use ZZip. I'm gonna go ahead, extract files. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right on to my C drive. Go ahead and hit okay. And again, this is gonna take a little bit, so I'll come back, I'll cut the video and come right back whenever this is done. All right guys, so it just got done extracting and I'm right here in my C drive. If I go to ArcGIS Web App Builder 2.7, we're gonna go ahead and click through here. And you're gonna see a startup, file, a startup Windows batch file. And that's what you're gonna to wanna to click on. It's gonna open up a, a Windows command prompt and it's gonna run through a few things and then it's gonna redirect you to a URL. And you're gonna see it's looking for your ArcGIS Online organizational uh, URL website. So mine is already filled in, but whatever yours is, you can go ahead and, and type that in. What also it's gonna look for is an app ID. So this is where we're gonna to have to go to ArcGIS Online, sign in and do a few things before we can get this uh, up and running. So we're right here on ArcGIS Online. We're gonna go ahead and sign in like we normally do. Then we're gonna to go to content add item and we're going to get an add an application and the default setting should be fine so web mapping ready to use javascript and what this is going to look for the url is it's going to redirect it specifically to your computer because again all the web app builder developer edition is installed onto your machine so i'm going to go ahead i've already got my url typed in so it's httpp your computer name and then 3344 that's the port number slash web app builder so the only thing you should change is your um, computer name. So if you go to Windows and go to about your computer, it'll tell you what your computer name is. And then I'm just gonna type, I'm just gonna call this Web App Builder. Um, it's just the default thing that we have to have it in AG well. Let me go ahead and add this in. It's gonna redirect me. Now, once you're inside the web mapping uh, main screen, we're gonna go to settings, scroll down, and you're gonna see app registration. We're gonna register this app, just leave it as browser. But the thing it's looking for here is again, your computer name, but you do not need the port number or um, the web app putter behind that. So all you're gonna do is HTTP your computer name. And then what I also do is I add HTTPS um, just in case you're having secure. So add both of those in, hit register. And then you're gonna look down and you're gonna see an app ID. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. That's what it's looking for in Web App Builder. So we're gonna go back here, paste the ID in, and it's looking, there. this means it worked. If you see the screen, that means it worked. Once to access your ArcGIS Online account, go ahead and hit approve. It's gonna take us in here, and this is it. You're in Web App Builder Developer Edition. So it's kind of weird. So you have it installed on your machine, but it actually uses the browser interface to create things. So from here on out, you can make 2D maps, 2D maps, 3D maps, import stuff, so if you want to hit, if you're starting brand new like I am, you can pick all kinds of different templates. So if I just want a basic template, hit next. If I want to give it a name, go ahead, hit, just type in whatever you're going to call it, hit OK. And then it's going to redirect you and it's going to look just like Web App Builder in ArcGIS Online, but you're going to have a lot more flexibility with adding your own custom widgets, own templates, and that sort of thing. Um, and I'm going to have videos later on describing how to do that. But it's going to look just like it normally does. You can pick your dashboards, you can pick your layouts, whatever map it is in ArcGIS Online, your widgets, and then save this out. Um, it's pretty easy, guys. And then 
the one thing is, so you'll remember you have that command prompt that pops up. So whenever you exit out of this, exit out of all this, make sure you close out that uh, Windows command prompt. And then what all you have to do to get back to that is just run that startup again. And it will redirect you right back to your organizational URL. It does take a little bit of time and then it redirects you. And you don't have to do the register of the apps. Once you're in there, you're in there. And then you can see there's the app that I made. I can go ahead and launch it right from here, or if I want to edit. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you use ArcGIS Developer Edition. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thank you, guys.